Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to the I'm making a game video. I, don't, I actually don't even know a name for this because I don't think I ever made a official title for this, but this is where I'm making my maze or some type of game that I'm doing with you guys. So it's been a while since I've done it because I've been doing the DirectX um, tutorials, but since that's a little, since that's kind of done now, unless you guys want to do something with it, then I'm going to get back to this. Um, the last time, we had some enemies follow each other, so, this is what we had last time. I kind of, um, I have this text here, because I was debugging it and figure out, in, in the last video, I think it was last, or two videos ago, I, have, I was having this weird thing where enemies were going faster than I, than I was, even though my max velocity was higher than the enemies. So I was trying to figure out why, and then I realized it's because I'm recording, so I think that was the issue, because it was working fine, I never did anything to it, and when I was trying to test it, it was working fine, then enemies were not going faster than I was, but it looks like it's working now, so I was debugging it and figuring out what the hell was going on, but it works, and I like that, having debugging here, but this is this is the velocity that it's showing. So basically what I want to do is trying to create a star, so I'm going to put back the collision, and so if I want to put it back, I'm trying to remember where I initialized it at, actually. Where did I initialize it? I think it was character. Yeah. So let's put that back. So once I have that back, I should not have... It should not go through walls. Oh, why did they do that? Hold on. Were they already inside collision? I did not check that. Uh, yeah, kinda are touching. Huh. Alrighty, <laughs> sorry. I had to pause it for a bit, figure out why it wasn't working. And I was dumb dumb. I was checking collision against the floor instead of the walls. So, <laughs> I don't know why I, would, I don't know why I did that. I mean, it's been so long since I haven't touched it, so it might have been for a reason. I don't remember, but now it works. So now if I put collision back on, they will not go through walls anymore. Um, so basically, that's what I want. So what I so this is what we can need a star for. So they could go be smart, go around stuff, and all that kind of good stuff, right? So I I'm I'm already using my pat my a star already from the other tutorials I've made. I'm using this. Almost the same thing. I might have updated it a tiny bit, but majority of it, ninety percent of it's the same. Um, I believe. So what I want to do is I've got to update my pathfinding a little bit. Um, let me give me a second. Number include tile manager. I need to bring this back. Instead of saying that, it should be Tile Manager. And it should be... Uh, uh, tile Width. Tile Manager. Tile Height. Same thing, we go for the bottom. You know, this has an extra parentheses. There we go. I gotta update the other ones too, real quick. Give me a second. This is. Manager map map with I believe this may be a issue. I'm have to look back at it. Or otherwise, I'm have to create a different ID for each one of them differently. I need this back. Closest path. Tile manager. 
Tau with. Tau manager. Hopefully I don't have to re- I probably should have done this like that. In a different time, but... Okay, I don't need debug draw. I need these. Okay. So, if any of these goes out of bounds... Map width, I believe. Yes, it should be map width. Tile manager. Tile height. If any of them goes beyond the balance of the map, then that should return. Um, okay, here is when I had to check to see if that current um that current cell that I'm checking to see, and check to see if it's um if it's blocked or not, if it's a wall or not. But before I do that, let me give me a second. Why does that? Oh, probably because of that. Um, Tile manager map with. Okay, so this one's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna have to get um. Can I get a tile here? Let's see, tile manager. Get instance. Get tau at x and y is entity I believe. Tau. What's underscore? Apologize. Underscore y. Underscore. Okay. So, what this tile manager does, get tile at, I return the tile in that, in that, in that array, for that, that current position that I'm in, right? That's why I'm getting it, and if it's out of balance, I return null. So, you want to check if tile equals null. If it is null, then just return. I don't need to do that, just return. Otherwise, uh, Otherwise, I could probably put in the same if statement, so I don't have to create two of them. If equals no, otherwise, or if tau. is a pointer, so what's going on? Okay, fine. Maybe because it doesn't know what entity is. Yeah, that's what it is. Does not know what no doesn't know what entity is. It should know it, but include entity each. Hopefully that's not create issues, but we'll find out. If tau has a tag of I'm not sure if it should be blocked underscore, you know put everything in underscore. If it's blocked, then you just return. That's the way I'm doing it. I'm gonna have to go back to TMX and sh put all those walls to be blocked. Let me check it. Okay. So I wanna go back inside my TMX and then let's see, you wanna check the one with the wall and add a property. And. For, I need to go. Okay, it's type. I believe I did put type. I'm gonna put it blocked. That's how I called it, right? Blocked. It means copy and paste that. I believe it was typed. So that means all of these can be blocked now. Which is simply awesome. Okay, now that I have my path manager working, I want to go back to my enemy. Let me see, hold on. Before. Okay, warning float stuff. Possible. Ah. Uh. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go to my enemy age. I wanna add a pathfinding here. Number include pathfinding age. Doesn't really matter where I put it at right now. I mean, it does matter actually. If you care about size, it does matter, but. Uh, pathfinding. 
that's a different topic and it'll be more it's a different topic <laughs> um equals no and delete with pathfinding delete pathfinding and equals no not that I not that I have that inside idle I have a career waypoint right so instead of having idle time I figure out how am I gonna initialize this okay let's see I want to see initialize I guess you could say as long as it's not equal searching okay okay so if and pathfinding get a uh, pass date and say pathfinding while it's not searching let's search for something right let's search for something I already know what I want I kind of deleted it didn't I so um, current waypoint equals get next waypoint what did I name it what did I, what was I doing with that get grab next waypoint that's what I meant. that's what I needed grab next waypoint as a vector 2 so now that I now you want to pathfinding initialize In my start position we already know my st the start position so I call it a uh, IGSR vector 2 and you want to pass an entity get position get X and entity Get position. I get Y. And my waypoint. My query waypoint. So once I have one of my F pathfinding, get pass date. This uh, equals pathfinding found goal then you want to break out of idle and patrol I believe it's patrol okay and pathfinding set state I'm sure what I called it um, current state equals patrol So for now, you know, you don't want to worry about chase. I just want to make sure they actually work. And they move around. So let's not worry about chase right now. And where do I sh what else do I do here? Check target. I don't care about checking for the target at the moment. Now that I have that, system current waypoint minus. Hold on, give me a second, I'm trying to figure out. Uh, it's similar to this, but I need to only grab it once. How do I grab it? I'm trying not, not doing it without creating a Boolean. I'm just trying to figure out if I can do it without a Boolean. Otherwise, I may have to. But since M current state is not a pointer, I can't check if it's null. I mean, I can make it a pointer if I want. It'll be so much faster, actually. I could use that same one as a... Um... You know what? I probably will do that, because it'll be easier. M current waypoint should be... I'm going to put it as a pointer. That way I can set it... Yeah, I'm not going to use that. Um, I'm going to IGSR vector to... Target location and pass it in there and check if um, current waypoint equals null. If it equals null, I 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix all this stuff right now. Give me a second. Um, if current waypoint equals null, and current waypoint equals new IGSR vector two. Waypoint set X. I wanna. I probably could have put it on top too. That would have worked. And pathfinding. Get next closest point. Closest point. Equals this. Yeah, I could have put it on top. Let's see, it's another line. Not like it matters though, but get X, get Y. Now I need to fix this. IGSR vector two. Get X, get Y. I have that. Once it reaches um here, I'm gonna have to delete it instead of null. No. Delete current point point and equals null. No. Since I created new, just double check when I delete it if current waypoint. And set it in all. Let me double check if it's if it's an idle, if it's not searching, grab my next waypoint, initialize it, and that should change it from initialized to searching. So I'll, I'll only go here once, and then it'll come in here. And once it found the goal, go to patrol. Once it patrol, if that equals no, closest waypoint grabs the next waypoint from the list. Current waypoint equals new closest point. And then goes to that location. No, actually, you know what? No, 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 I don't want to do this. Hold on. Yeah, I want to delete it, but I also want to check if I'm pathfinding. I get closest path size. If it's still greater, because I'm going to the next point, it will probably have. Um, a lot of points that will reach that location, right? That's what pathfinding is. So, if pathfinding is greater than zero, that means it still has points there. The path, uh, the A star still has points for a player to go to, waypoints or positions, whatever you want to call it. So, if as long as it's greater than zero, um, current waypoint. I mean, I already am deleting it. So, I guess you say if it equals zero, set it back. Um, set it back to idle. Otherwise, keep staining here. Otherwise, keep staining here. And then you want to search for a different path. Let's try that out. Let me. I'm on. I'm on initialize it though. I want to go in there. Go to initialize. What's initializing here? I want to. Want to double check that everything's. Oh yeah, I need to call it iterate. Did I? Hold on. I need to call it iterate. So I don't call it. Once it's searching, make sure I'm iterating. Good thing. I, good thing I did that because I would be like, "What the hell's going on?" Okay, now that I have iterating, get the Excel. Actually, I start and go. I want to go in here, just double check that it works. If it doesn't crash right now, okay, cool. Oh. Why? I already break and calling you, aren't I? Did I ever call you on Pathfinding? No, I did not. I think. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. I 
Well, that's fun. Okay. So I'm initialized. I pass in my position. 46. And target location is 144. So initializes it. 417. Initialize starting goal. If it equals no. Da 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 da. 17, 18. Okie dokie. And opens the list for searching. It goes in here, grab an Excel. All right, let's break out from here. And let's. Nope, did not work that well. This guy didn't work. Unless. Hold on. Unless I'm supposed to iterate the end of that closest pathfinding. Hold on. Reinitialize it. Starts from goal and pushes it back. So yes, hold on. I messed up. I believe I messed up. Hold on. I think it's backwards. Plus that size minus one, I believe it's that. Oh, it's not. Okay, so it's not working, guys. Never mind. One thing I need to know is that did it generate my properties correctly? Did I ever call it blocked? Well, I think that's why I never called it blocked. Hold on. Hold on, give me a second tile manager. Where do I create my tiles? Create tile. Add a tag of name. I need to get the tile set properties. I did not. Let me see. Get property by name. Is it just type? Do I need to? I know it's been a while. I haven't I haven't looked at this project for a long time. Hold on. Property size, which in my case does call it blocked. So what does this compare it to? Type. Get name. Yes. Okay. Cool. So what I need to know. Wait, does it return null? Okay, cool. So I need to know if it's not in there, it's calls it null. Where's my... Okay. Sharp pointer type equals that or string, whatever. And then say entity add tag of type. But I want to make sure it does not equal null though. Just double checking if it actually calls it in there. So cause block tags has to block wall, okay. Now let me go pathfinding one and know if it actually goes in there. Tell it has tag of Floor, which is not what I don't want. Has two blocks, so this will not go in there. Yes. It's still, it's still, whoa, okay. Kinda? It's kind of smart. Let me see what this is guy. I need to put some debugging and figure out where exactly is it going to. 
It's probably down here and since I'm adding velocity. Oh. So it's kind of debugging, but I found one bug that I did not do. So one of them works. Or I might have messed up and Alright guys, welcome. Uh, I just came back from taking my mama out to eat for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I mean, I had to take her out to eat. So, but anyways, I'm back and I was looking through this as the reason why it wasn't working earlier. It actually was working, but I just kind of modified it away the closest points or the path that, that was generating. I actually was, it's, all I did was add a half of it. So instead of oh, the position being at the top corner, top left corner of the cell or tile or whatever I changed it so it could be in the center of the tile so I just modified it so it could be the, the position could be in the center of the tile instead of the top left corner so that's all I did so if I play it it actually works now and play a little bit smart it's a tiny little bit weird when like the top right one it kind of like the curved it's got to figure that out as to why it does that but it is working. So they're all. I think what I should do so to be more viewable is to draw where their target's at. So at least we know where it's going to. <laughs> Other than that, it's working. They're all going through there. They're all doing what they're supposed to do. Um, let's see. I mean, of course, you can make these guys a little bit smarter. You know, instead of doing whatever they're doing. You know. They cut corner. They cut corners, so you just go right to one direction. Like that guy. Like I don't know. I mean, it's. I just have to modify it a little bit more, but it is working. I'll modify it, but it's, all I wanted is just to show you the pathfinding system, how to use it. It's very simple. I hope you guys understood what I just did. So all I did was, and of course. Initialize it. I mean, create an object or a new, a new, um, a new pathfinding. Initialize it with the start and goal. Iterate through it or update it so it checks all the neighbors. And once it found the goal, then you want to grab the closest points and loop through them. Or go to that target or, or to that cell. Is that that's all you need to do? And once you all the once he reaches his target, go back, go back and reinitialize any position or I don't know, depending how you want to do it. Um, of course, I need to modify this a little bit more. Um, another thing is to bring back my chase. So when it comes to this, do I have a clear in my pathfinding? Do I have? Yes, I do. Clear. So once it goes, in, so once it checks target chase, make sure and pathfinding. Make sure you clear points so that way we don't have it in there. Clear them out and go follow my player or my. Yeah, go follow the player. Once it finds the player, blah blah blah. Once it reaches the greater distance where you can't follow the player go back to idle once it goes back to idle we we'll re-loop this so let's try that out it kind of laggy of course because they're doing pathfinding so it will lag especially since I'm recording this guy here is still there we go so once it finds me it's like oop let's follow this guy now Pauses and it should loop through another target, I believe. I hope so. If it does that, that means it's working. I hope. Come on now. You're searching. There we 
There we go. So that's another thing you have to do, so that way they don't stop in that position for a long time. Maybe because I'm recording is slow. I gotta test this when I'm not recording. I'll let you guys know. But of course, you can always improve your A star a little bit better. Another thing that I need to update is that I'm gonna have to do a raycast. So if I'm looking through a wall, the target doesn't know that I'm there. Because if I'm too close here, he's gonna try to try to chase me. But he can't do it because. I mean, another thing you could do, well, no, not that doesn't work, because he doesn't know I'm there. So, that's another thing you gotta do, gotta do a raycast and check to see if it actually, there's a wall between between us. So, that's another thing that I'm gonna have to do in the future when it comes to it, not right now. And this video was just A-star stuff, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, you guys loved it, and if you have any questions, let me know. i do my best. Uh, keep updating this A-star, so, I mean, that was quick, there we go. Um, But, yeah. See, like, like, this guy's gonna follow me because he thinks I'm there, but I gotta do a raycast so he doesn't know that I'm there. So, but yeah. I hope you guys understood a little bit more about A-Star. I know he, well, a lot of you guys wanted me to do, wanted to know how to use the pacify any system that I use in one of my tutorials. So now you guys know. It's simple. It's not that hard to do. So, but if you have any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to answer those questions for you. Um, but yeah. There you go guys, I'll end the video now, and in the next video, what am I doing in the next video? I, I either going to go start doing um, state machines, because I need to do that, or I could do shaders, so it could, so it could I'm gonna go. nah, shaders could be later. I'm thinking of doing state machines, and these, so it'll be much easier to understand. Unless I figure make raycast, because I don't have raycast in my system yet. I don't. I haven't done that yet. I don't have the functionality in my engine to do raycast, so I need to implement that. So I'm not sure if you guys want to see that or not. If you do, let me know. I'll do a video on it. Otherwise, I won't. But yeah, I probably I do have one. I think I did it in one of my demos when I was checking when I was checking for that button. One of my demos, one of when I used the Master Chief and all that. I'm not sure if you guys seen it anyways. I put it in the link or something, I don't know. Or I might show a little screenshot. I may really be doing recast. I just have to update it. So it could work in here. But I don't know. You know, if you guys want me to do a video on that, let me know. But yeah, there we go. I mean, another thing I could, that's because I don't want to look, I don't want it to make it look just good yet. You know, that's later. You want to add all the functionality and all that. Because I wanted to actually do, um, Alpha planning, so I don't have to use the white stuff and the black stuff behind me. I haven't done alpha blending in here just yet. But, I mean, I don't want to make it look nice just yet. I want to, I want to make it work first, you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, just trying to figure out what else I need to do. I guess that's it. I'll figure out in the next video. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if there's anything. <coughs> Excuse me. If there's anything you guys want me to do here or want me to implement, let me know. You know, like I said, feedback is always appreciated. We're doing this together. And, yeah. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. What you guys want to see in here. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Sending out. Yeah.